And then there's the bloke who wants to be the Deputy Prime Minister, who unbelievably is continually let off the hook by a media who does not want to tell you the truth about the people who might be forming government in minority with the Greens. As you know, this bloke sends his homework to China to check on his speeches. This is a bloke who, and beautifully reported, as always, by Shari Markson today, praised China, praised China on, among other things, human freaking rights. Yet nothing in the 6pm news tonight. Nothing at all, because it's evil Shari who wrote it. In that newspaper you can't possibly refer to. That's a protection racket. That's a game. Can I read from Shari's story? Deputy Leader Richard Miles praised China's record on human rights, crediting Xi Jinping as being deeply impactful president. He said that Australia should stay out of contested disputes in the South China Sea. That is despicable. That the bloke who wants to be the Deputy Prime Minister and maybe the Defence Minister has been caught out how many times on China? Now, the media will have you believe that this is all kind of one thing that was a long time ago. It's not. These are fresh exclusives every single day. But they go no further than the newspaper because it doesn't fit the narrative. We have spent a week talking about the damn Solomon Islands, not the deputy leader of the Labor Party who sends his homework to China and praises them on human rights who have a plan for a tax. When they force you to buy something, that's a tax on 215 of our biggest polluters who have broken how many of their own policies in this election thus far? And we're only halfway through. Miles, for his part today, well, he knew the media was just going to let him say anything and this didn't even appear on the 6pm news. Well, I've made uh, my position really clear on... Uh, China's failings in their human rights treatment of Uyghurs, in uh, their management of Hong Kong, and I've always raised human rights issues with China and been prepared to publicly do that in China. Um, and now, show me the government minister who has gone to China and done that. And just on the Solomon Islands, which was raised again by Labor today, knowing that the media would cover this story because they know... Anything bad for the Prime Minister means he can't be on the attack. If he points out the reality of Labor, he could win the election. So, therefore, let's pretend that the Labor Party is serious about doing something in the Solomon Islands. Today, they announced about half a billion dollars over the next however many years to help train more troops in the Pacific. Fine, fair enough. But then they are actually going to use, believe it or not, they are going to use the Solomon Islands situation as a backdoor way of giving more money to the ABC. I'm not joking more money to the ABC so their crap can be pumped even deeper into our region. The Prime Minister put it well when he said this today. What they're effectively saying is they're going to keep doing what we've been doing. There's one difference, though. I sent in the AFP. The Labor Party wants to send in the ABC when it comes to their Pacific solution. They have a Q&A solution in the Pacific. What we have is real investment in our partnerships with the region, 